Alrighty everyone, welcome back to another video. So as you guys saw by the title of today's video, uh, we're going to be reviewing this Hyper Tough um, 20 inch, it's a 5 drawer um, tool chest. Um, it also has that small riser right there in the middle um, and it has like a small cabinet down there where you can store some additional stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to be doing you guys a quick review um, and showing you guys like all the drawers and stuff and how much um, tools it fits and what I personally think about it. Um, so yeah. Alrighty, so we're just going to walk right up to the first um, uh, actual drawer. So this drawer, it's um, about one inch tall right here, so you can fit. Um, I use my screwdrivers for this, um, since screwdrivers aren't really uh, more than one inch tall most of the time. But yeah, so here you guys can see I have some of my screwdrivers um, stored. Um, this is obviously 20 inches wide, um, about 20 inches, not exactly, but um, about 20 inches. Um, so yeah, it holds a good amount of tools in this drawer. Um, they all have um, ball bearing like sliders, and then um, obviously when you pull it back, here you guys can see they're not locking right now, but until you kind of push it, then it locks into place right there. It can, you can do it with all the other ones. Just push it, it locks right into place. And then this one's already locked. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, they're ball, um, they have ball bearings and um, they obviously lock into place. Um, and you just pretty much kind of pull it. I would say the second drawer is about three to four inches deep. Um, like uh, where you, how much you can fit tools in there. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good amount of tools, uh, storage space and stuff. Here you guys can see I have uh, have most of my pliers and stuff in here. I also have some mixed Allen wrenches down there. Um, I don't really use Allen wrenches all that much, but I do use pliers, so I use this one for all my pliers. This one down here, um, once again, is sort of like the other one, um, pretty much the same size. Um, right here, I have all of my extensions and stuff. I can fit some more tools in here, but I just have them all mixed up for now. Um, as you guys can see, I have some torques down there and stuff like that. Which is pretty much mixed up stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the first three drawers right here. Uh, once again, this one's about one inch, um, like deep going down. This one's about three to four inches deep going deep going down, and then the one right here is about the same. Um, so yeah, um, this top piece right here it does open, but I never really use these. And as you guys can see, it barely just fit inside my um under this piece right here uh, where I actually wanted to put it when I bought it. Um, so yeah, I can't really open that, but it's okay because I don't need to store any more tools in there. And then obviously down here you have a quick riser. Um, right here I just fit some of my um like storage stuff, some drill bits, and then. Um, over here, I just have some of my knives. Um, I keep this bottle over here for just quick stuff that I grab like almost every day, um, like a knife or something. Um, just stuff that are out in the open that I use mostly use um, on a regular basis. Um, and then for the second drawer right here, this one's a little bit smaller than the ones up there. Um, so I'll say about two to three inches like deep going down. And then uh, you guys can see I just have some mixed up tools right there. Um, I have another uh, thing of just pliers that I um, rarely use. And then um, down here, here you can see I have all my sandpaper. Um, and then just some like um, auto body tools and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's these two tools. Once again, you kind of push them to lock them in. It should be all locked about now. There we go. And then down here, you actually have your cabinet. So here you guys can see I just have some of my, um, a lot of my actual um, like small engine stuff. Um, a lot of heads, um, head gaskets, um, some belts. And then um, just some other stuff like bungee straps and stuff. Um, another cool thing that um, Hyper Tough really did that I do really like. A lot of people don't really like it. Um, just because they don't feel like they would ever use it. But I do use it. They added an additional pegboard space right here. Um, and it comes with the pegboard hooks. Um, so here you guys can see I just had um, some of my um, tapes and stuff right here. You guys can see the pegboard. Um, they have it on both sides too. I have all my extra pegboard um, hooks down here. You guys can see there's some um, jigsaw blades and like a multi-tool do um, down there. But yeah, so that's a pretty good thing that HyperTuff did a good job on, um, was adding a pegboard. A lot of people don't like it, but I personally do like it. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much the whole toolbox right here. Once again, it's 20 inches um, from here to here, um, so 20 inches in width. And um, I would say about um, 13 to 14 inches um, deep going down um, to the actual wall. So yeah, it's a pretty good size toolbox. Um, once again, um, so I did buy this for $80. It was a pretty good deal on it, and um, I'm pretty sure it used to be a little bit cheaper. But now that um, a lot of materials are going up and stuff, um, also companies are pricing up their stuff. So yeah, it's a pretty good deal for $80, I would say. Once again, they all have ball bearings in them, um, so everything moves really smoothly. And then over here, if you actually need to open this top space to um, store more tools in here, um, it does have like a small hook um, that just kind of holds it up so it doesn't just fall down every time you try and open it. Um, but yeah, it's a really good toolbox for $80. Um, it might be a little bit priced up now just because a lot of materials are going up, but I recently purchased this not too long ago. Um, since I did have two other toolboxes, they were all getting rusty, but um, I put them up on Facebook Marketplace and I sold them both for $50, so it was a pretty good um, deal. I only lost about, uh, I'll say $30 or so, uh, 50, 60, 70, yeah, around $30 or so, um, but I did lose $30 and got a brand new tool chest. No rust, ball bearings in them. And then, um, yeah, it's a pretty good tool chest. I'm um, holding a lot of tools once again.
But yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments um, down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Um, I think we'll see you guys in the next one. And have a great day.